Hi, this is Harold. I'm on a short evening walk. It's around 9 p.m. I hope my poor little Huawei camera is sufficient for uh, the poor lighting conditions. I just want to do an update because I read uh, in the Swiss newspaper NZZ an article today uh, that said China's economy is basically in free fall. Now, NZZ, you have to know that's not just some backwater uh, farmers uh, uh, good newspaper. No, it's 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 the most reput reputable and influential Swiss newspaper. It's also in the top three of all German-speaking newspapers. Um, so it's it's actually internationally quite influential. And um, I was wondering, do they just make it up uh, this uh, free fall, or is there something to it? I'm gonna fact check it in a second. Or um, did they just take it over from English-speaking lead media from the US? And um, quick Google search <laughs> revealed interesting things. So NZZ itself, they claim, uh, of course, uh, because of the Shanghai lockdown and now uh, an alleged Beijing lockdown, which again, I'm still very confident or even more confident than last time that it's not going to happen. So um, they claim because of that, the economy is now in free fall. Uh, but if I Google the word free fall, uh, China economy, uh, it turns out on March 5th, so when the Ukraine crisis had just started to escalate, there was already the exact same word economy of China is in free fall, which came from the Express in the UK. I'm not sure the importance of the Express, but um, it's definitely an internationally known newspaper. Um, so yeah, so that's been handed around and they didn't invent it, obviously. Um, so in December of 2021, uh, December 10th, that was the Wall Street Journal. They didn't use free fall the word, they said as the Chinese economy falters. So <laughs> the economy faltered in December, then went into free fall on, uh, in March and now uh, early May it's still or again in free fall but it didn't start here either so in 2019 that was investopedia had updated an article that was uh, i guess older but they updated it 2019 repeating chinese economy in free fall uh, or uh, china's economic collapse that's the word they use and 2015 the business insider uses the exact word Chinese economy in free fall. So we know a similar word is the hard landing. Hard landing meaning the, uh, the economy stops growing completely and for a long time doesn't restart growing. That goes back for decades. Western media have been predicting and Western so-called experts predicting a hard landing for 20-30 years. And I remember in the, when I started to, to int be interested for ch about China in you know, the, the, the early 2000s, uh, the hard landing was uh, every now and then a topic. And a lot of people said, well, you know, you cannot trust the statistics and China's lying about its actual growth. It's actually not growing. And well, let's <laughs> see 20 years later. Well, I, I was first time in China 2006 and it definitely didn't look the way it looks now. Uh, so, uh, if that wasn't economic growth, then what was it? So, um, so that's the first part. So yes, this free fall goes back years and years and China's economy is always free falling and faltering and in a hard landing. And China gets bigger and bigger and more powerful and we all have to be afraid of this huge dangerous competitor. That's what some people make us want to make us believe. But let's just look at the facts, at the numbers. As a background, <laughs> so the US numbers are quite scary. And I mean this seriously, I'm not like gleeful. I, I mean, I know a lot of people in the US, I have friends there and I don't wish them any, any harm. And I know some people are watching this from the US, uh, be they uh, Chinese expats or be they Americans or Europeans and or other migrants and it's, it's always scary when your economy does what the US economy does, which is stagflation. It's like the worst uh, for any economist because when you have inflation, it means the prices go up. So you sell 10 pieces of bread, $2 each, you have a total of $20 GDP. 
uh, the prices go up, inflation, you sell it for $3, your GDP goes at $30 if you still sell 10 bread. But uh, um, stagnation is when the total goes down. So you had a total GDP of $20, now it's going down to $18, so that's stagnation. Well, if that happens at the same time, the price of bread went up, but the total value of all bread sold went down, that means the number of bread sold went down dramatically. And that's exactly what happened in the first quarter in the US. So inflation is high. Officially, it's around 8%, 7.9% in the first quarter, record high. And um, GDP declined by 1.4%. So in real terms, the actual services and goods sold in the US have declined quite a lot. So that's the, uh, the, the performance of the US. So what does free fall mean by comparison to a real GDP decline of like eight, nine percent? Well, <laughs> the economy of China grew at least end of uh, the first quarter by 4.8 percent. And that's a rough number. I mean, you know, I'm not picky if you say it was just 4%. I don't care. It was maybe 5%. It was maybe 4%. It grew, definitely. And then the inflation was around 2%. So definitely lower than the GDP growth, which means also in real terms, the in, in real products and services, the Chinese economy has expanded in the first quarter. So <laughs> at least those... Uh, statements of free fall and collapse in December and March we can definitely discard as <laughs> absolute absurd. Yes, it's not uh, rapid skyrocket growth, but it's definitely very healthy growth. And, uh, you know, uh, given there's COVID, there's a global economic crisis uh, based on, 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 on a war and sanctions, and there's all these um, uh, other factors like uh, like the, the whole uh, issue of recovery and, and supply chains. So yeah, it's definitely n n positive to have such growth. And um, what else do I want to add? So, so China, yeah, and so now the COVID lockdown in Shanghai, that is a heavy blow to Shanghai. Uh, Shanghai in total makes up around 3.4% of the whole Chinese economy. And I've seen an estimate that the lockdown in Shanghai will wipe off about 2% of GDP uh, from China's overall GDP this year. And if we assume the growth uh, continues or stays at where it has been in the first quarter, otherwise, besides that lockdown, then that would mean growth in real terms without inflation would be around zero, with inflation it would be around 3% which is definitely not what I call free fall. Well, call it what you will. Thanks for watching and have a nice one. Bye-bye.